Bollywood glitz and glamour. Sri Yama Yangar Ayapan, also known professionally and publicly as Sri Devi, had been in Dubai, UAE to attend her nephew's wedding. The 54-year-old diva was accompanied by her husband, Boni Kapoor, and youngest daughter, Kushi Kapoor. While Boni and Kushi left Dubai the day after the wedding, Sri Devi decided to extend her stay and convert this eventful journey into a relaxing vacation. In a shocking turn of events, when everyone thought Sri Devi was enjoying her getaway, her lifeless body was found submerged underwater in the bathtub of her hotel room on February 24, 2018. Bollywood actor Shredevi's unexpected death in Dubai shook millions of fans across the globe. So what happened with Sri Devi in the bathroom that night? Was it simply an accident? Or was there a mystery behind this tragic incident? Dubai is a city situated within the United Arab Emirates. The city is most renowned for its towering skyscrapers, such as the iconic Burj Khalifa, which symbolizes remarkable human achievement. But that's not all Dubai has to offer. The city is lined with picture-perfect beaches where the sun lovingly caresses the sand and provides some of the most heavenly views one could ever imagine. When it comes to safety, Dubai actually ranks quite high on the list. With a low crime rate index of 16.27 and the highest safety index of 83.73 out of 100, while this may make Dubai a great option for a city to settle in, it doesn't mean that the city's free from all danger. Which brings us to the mysterious case of Sri Devi. In the quaint village of Minampadi near Sivakasi in present day Tamil Nadu, India, Sri Ama Yangar Ayapan came into the world on August 13, 1963. Her parents, Ayapan and Rajaswari Yangar, played pivotal roles in shaping her upbringing. Shri's father was a lawyer who hailed from Sivakazi, Tamil Nadu, and Shri's mother, who was originally from Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh, took care of the household. Shri, as she was lovingly called, embraced Tigalu as her mother tongue, seamlessly weaving it with her fluent command of Tamil. Growing up, she shared her childhood with her younger sister, Sri Latha Yangar. As much as they fought each other as children, the two sisters were inseparable. Satish and Surya Kalo were Shri's half-siblings who stemmed from her father's and mother's previous marriages, respectively. Shri's journey in the world of cinema unfolded when she took her first steps as a child artist in the 1967 Tamil film Kandan Karunai at the tender age of four. Her talent continued to bloom, and she got herself the lead role in a mythological Tamil film in 1969, where she showcased her remarkable acting skills even as a young performer. As she entered the captivating realm of acting, ascending to greater heights, she decided to spice things up a bit and adopted a stage name that transcended mere letters. She called herself Sri Devi. The specific age or stage of her career when she chose this name remains unclear. However, what is clear is that she embraced the name upon entering the film industry. Sri Devi's transition into on-screen adulthood occurred in 1976 when she was only 13. As challenging as it was for teenage Sri Devi to play an adult in the Tamil films, her grace and charm earned her a special spot in the film industry. This marked the beginning of Sri Devi's evolution into a prominent leading lady of South Indian cinema. Across her diverse career in the following years, Shri made her mark as an actress proficient in Tugalu, Tamil, Hindi, Mayayalam, and Kannada language films. Her mesmerizing dance became a cultural phenomenon, with many praising Sri Devi's bejeweled outfits and headgear for stealing the show. Following the success, she continued to achieve milestones in Bollywood, performing her best and showcasing her acting skills. Filmfare magazine celebrated Sri Devi's success and stardom by declaring her the best female star in Bollywood on their cover. Sri Devi's status as one of the leading actresses in Bollywood was solidifying day by day. Sri Devi's journey to superstardom reached new heights with her portrayal of a quirky crime journalist in the science fiction film Mr. India 
opposite another renowned Bollywood figure, Anil Kapoor, in 1987. Many agree that Sri Devi was a complete show stealer in her films. Sri Devi's mobile facial expressions and uninhibited presence in front of the camera garnered recognition, establishing her as a powerhouse in the industry. Sri Devi's infectious laughter and her ability to look distinctly tearful when the scene demanded added a touch of perfection to all her performances. In fact, she had the uncanny ability to overshadow her co-stars, making them seem more like sidekicks in the film. From that point onward, she showcased her versatility in each film, expanding her repertoire with diverse roles. Amidst Sri Devi's flourishing career, when her father passed away due to a heart attack while she was in the middle of shooting for another film, her journey in Bollywood continued with a string of successful movies, cementing her position as a formidable force in the industry. Inevitably, Sri Devi came to be known as the first female superstar of Indian cinema. From 1985 to 1993, Sri Devi held the coveted title of being the highest paid actress in India. In the midst of the production of Jurassic Park between 1992 and 1993, the renowned Hollywood director and producer Steven Spielberg extended an offer to Sri Devi for a small role in the film. Despite the honor and fame associated with the opportunity, Sri Devi, upon careful consideration of the role's significance, declined the offer. Behind the glamorous life of a heroine with enchanting magical eyes and stunning beauty was an inherently reserved woman who was often mistaken as being arrogant. But the reality was that Sri Devi was genuinely shy. Commencing her acting journey at the tender age of four, she missed out on the typical experience of formal education and interactions with peers her age. This early exposure to the industry shaped her aversion to crowds and noise, and she resorted to maintaining a calm and introverted demeanor off the camera. Consequently, throughout the period spanning from 1972 to 1994, when Sri Devi was actively involved in film shooting, she always had the company of her mother, Rajaswari, or her sister, Sri Latha, on the sets. However, Sri Devi never complained about this. She was always grateful for what she had. In 1996, Boni Kapoor, who was a prominent film producer from the illustrious Bollywood lineage, the Kapoor family, tied the knot with Sri Devi, and the newly married couple embarked on a whole new journey. However, this union between Boni and Sri Devi raised many eyebrows and was considered quite a scandal since Boni had divorced his first wife, Mona Shuri Kapoor, earlier in 1996. People wondered whether Sri Devi and Boni had been having an affair since the gap between Boni's two marriages was notably less. With time, things came to rest, and the couple soon welcomed Janvi, their first daughter, into the world in 1997. Unfortunately, around the same period of time, Sri Devi's mother faced complications stemming from a surgery she'd undergone in 1995 to treat a brain tumor. During the initial surgery, the neurosurgeon had made an error where he'd operated on the wrong side of her mother's brain, causing the destruction of vital tissues associated with vision and recent memory. Sri Devi's mother couldn't recover from the damage and eventually passed away later in 1997. Following her mother's demise, Sri Devi took a hiatus from the film industry and later welcomed another daughter, Kushi, in the year 2000. After a 15-year absence from the silver screen, Sri Devi made a cinematic comeback that would soon go down in Bollywood history. This triumphant return wasn't just a personal victory. It etched Sri Devi's name as the only actress in Bollywood to stage a successful comeback as a leading lady after marriage and a prolonged break from the film industry. Encouraged by the success, Sri Devi ventured into her 300th film, a psychological thriller, in 2017. The journey of her comeback, however, took an unexpected turn when she signed up for a 2019 period romantic drama, only to have fate intervene before she could step into that role. On February 20th, 2018, Sri Devi, accompanied by Boni and their youngest daughter Kushi, flew to Al Jazeera Al Hamra in Ras Al Khaima, United Arab Emirates, to join the joyous celebration of her nephew Mohit Marwa's wedding. Sri Devi's elder daughter Janvi unfortunately couldn't join due to her professional commitments. As the festivities unfolded, Kushi and Boni departed on February 22, 2018, with Boni heading to a meeting in Lucknow back in India. Sri Devi and Janvi loved to shop together, but since Janvi couldn't join her mother this time, she instead sent her a carefully prepared shopping list as her 21st birthday was around. Sri Devi had the list stored in her cell phone and had planned to go on a shopping spree on February 21, 2018. 
Unfortunately, she had to cancel those plans as she realized that she'd left her cell phone behind in Ras El Kaima. So with that, she then decided to linger a bit longer and make the most out of her time by extending her stay in Dubai, UAE, and make the most of her getaway. Not letting this bother her, Sri Devi embraced the unexpected leisure time, spending the day relaxing in her hotel room. On the 22nd, she continued the laid-back approach, enjoying the company of a friend and engaging in fun conversations. A couple of days went by and Sri Devi phoned Boney, telling him how much she missed him. Boney recounted the conversation, saying, When she told me, Papa, that's how she addressed him, I'm missing you. I also told her that I was missing her a lot. Little did Sri Devi know that Boney had already planned a surprise visit. Boney set the plan into motion on the morning of February 24th, 2018. He booked a 3.30 p.m. flight on that same day to Dubai. While he was seated in the lounge area of the International Airport in Bombay, he received a call from Sri Devi. Wanting to maintain the element of surprise, he made up a story about being engaged in a meeting for the next few hours and told her that his phone might be switched off. He assured her not to worry and promised to call her back as soon as he was free. The grand scheme was to catch her off guard with a surprise visit to her room at the Jumeirah Emirates Tower Hotel in Dubai, where Sri Devi had been staying for the last few days. As planned, Boney arrived at the Jumeirah Emirates Towers Hotel at around 6.20 in the evening on Saturday, February 24, 2018. While he was busy with the check-in formalities and securing a duplicate key to Sri Devi's room, he couldn't contain his excitement about surprising her. In the midst of this anticipation, he requested the bellboy to delay delivering his bag to the room. Eager to catch Sri Devi completely off guard, he knocked on the door of room number 2201 where Sri Devi was lodged. As Sri Devi opened the door and found Boney standing on the other side, she jumped up in joy. After an emotional reunion, the couple indulged in a lively chat for nearly half an hour, after which Boney excused himself to freshen up. Boney was overjoyed to see Sri Devi and was in the mood for a romantic dinner. He asked Sri Devi to postpone the planned shopping spree to the next day so they could instead enjoy a nice meal over drinks. Sri Devi agreed and was all in for the plan. Although Boney was convinced that his plan worked, he somehow had a hunch that Sri Devi knew about his surprise plans, but decided to play along. While Boney waited in the living room watching TV, Sri Devi went to the bathroom to take a bath and get dressed. After 15 or 20 minutes, at approximately 7 p.m., Boney realized that they were running late and called out to her. But there was no response. He walked up to the bathroom and called out to her again. Growing concerned, Boney knocked on the bathroom door, repeatedly calling out Sri Devi's name and escalating into a state of panic. Unable to get any response, Boney opened the door since it had not been bolted from the inside. The tragic incident unfolded as he discovered Sri Devi fully immersed in water from head to toe inside the bathtub. Boney was in deep shock. He couldn't believe what was in front of his eyes. He pulled himself together and called the hotel staff, and then the Dubai Police Department. At first glance, the circumstances remained unclear to the detectives, as there wasn't a single drop of water outside the tub, indicating no movement of her legs or arms or any sign of a struggle. Sri Devi was officially declared dead later that evening on February 24th, 2018. The narrative took an unexpected turn with the release of the forensic report by Dubai officials. In a shocking revelation, it was disclosed that the beloved actress Sri Devi met her demise through accidental drowning in the confines of her hotel bathtub. The complexities of the investigation deepened as the toxicology report later unveiled traces of alcohol in Sri Devi's bloodstream and the presence of water in her lungs. This painted a rather dark picture of the circumstances surrounding Sri Devi's untimely departure. The final chapter of this sorrowful saga unfolded on the 28th of February, 2018, at the Ville Parle Seva Samaj Crematorium in Mumbai. The rituals of farewell were led by Sri Devi's grieving husband, Boni Kapoor, who performed the last rites. Sri Devi's departure was marked with state honors, a reverent gun salute, and the searing flame of her pyre, ignited by the one who knew her best, her husband. On March 3rd, 2018, Boni Kapoor and his two daughters, Janvi and Kushi, traveled to Tamil Nadu, along with Sri Devi's ashes. The final immersion took place in the sea off the coast of Ramaswaram. Weeks later, on a quiet Sunday evening, 
the heart of Chennai resonated with a prayer meeting on March 11, 2018, organized by Sri Devi's grieving family. The event, which was out of bounds for the media, became a sacred space where actors from Bollywood played homage to the late actress, their collective grief echoing through the silent corridors of remembrance. So, a Bollywood diva accidentally ended up drowning in her hotel bathtub, and everyone was in the clear? Was that all? Absolutely not. Sri Devi might have been in the later years of her life, but she was fit as a fiddle. The world was just not convinced that she died due to accidental drowning. Some were even suspicious about the credibility of the release document, which stated Sri Devi's death as accidental drowning, since it misspelt the term drowning. What was the truth behind Sri Devi's death? Why was it being hidden? Sri Devi's fans, among with other Bollywood enthusiasts, believed there was more to the story and someone's dirty deeds had been swept under the rug. That was when some very thought-provoking theories started coming up. The most controversial theory came to light when filmmaker Sunil Singh came forward with his fresh claims. Sunil claimed Sri Devi's death to be a murder, but he was the only one who had actually done some fruitful research to back up his claims. What made Sunil's theory create headlines was the fact that he straight up accused Boney Kapoor of murdering Sri Devi. Sunil had done some digging and uncovered information on Boney, which brought to light some intriguing factors about his financial condition. Sunil Singh's lawyer asserted that Boney Kapoor, Sri Devi's husband, was grappling with a significant financial downturn. Notably, Boney's recent cinematic works had faced challenges at the box office. His first major success came out in 2005, a film called No Entry, which featured Salman Khan. In 2009, he experienced success once again with the release of the film Wanted, also in collaboration with Salman Khan. Having Salman Khan in a movie somehow managed decent box office success. Sadly, that movie became his last major hit. This was because the once tight bond between Boney Kapoor and Salman Khan began to shred apart after 2010. The reason behind this rift was the romantic involvement of Boney Kapoor's son with Salman Khan's sister-in-law. There were rumors that being aware of the potential repercussions on his brother's marriage, Salman gave Boney Kapoor a stern warning. He urged him to keep his son away from his sister-in-law to prevent any harm to the bond they shared. However, Salman's brother and sister-in-law ended up getting divorced. The fallout from this event cast a shadow over the once close relationship between Salman Khan and Boney Kapoor. And soon, without the support of his biggest Bollywood star, Boney's career in the film industry went down the drain. Boney Kapoor found himself selling his properties in an attempt to make ends meet, while also struggling to maintain a luxurious status in the industry. Amidst these tensions, speculations emerged, suggesting that Boney Kapoor may have planned the tragic demise of his wife in Dubai as a desperate measure to pull himself and his family out of a severe financial crisis. But how would Sri Devi's death help Boney with this financial crisis? That was what the public questioned. Luckily, what Sunil revealed next put all those questions to rest. With the information at hand, Sunil later entered a plea in the Supreme Court demanding a probe into Sri Devi's death and presenting some more jaw-dropping revelations about Boney Kapoor's wicked schemes. In the legal proceedings, Sunil Singh's legal representative told the court about an insurance policy that existed in Sri Devi's name in Oman. The policy was valued at 240 crore rupees, equivalent to $35 million. This revelation of the policy came as a shock to everyone and had them on the edge of their seats. According to the policy, there was a unique clause which specifically stated that the funds were claimable exclusively in the event of the actress's demise occurring in Dubai. While these claims made headlines and caught the attention of the public, the Supreme Court ultimately dismissed Sunil Singh's plea, stating that prior investigations conducted by authorities in the UAE had already looked at this angle and nothing suspicious was uncovered. The fact that no individual from Sri Devi's family or her close social circles ever contradicted or refuted the existence of the substantial 240 crore rupees policy spewed more suspicion, but the issue was eventually laid to rest by the media. Amidst the whispers of doubt, retired ACP Ved Bhushan came up with his own theory. 
He too believed that the actress's death showed signs of a planned murder and further claimed that officials falsely stated Sri Devi's death as accidental drowning to hide the truth. However, he speculated that the notorious underworld figure Dawood Ibrahim might be involved in the murder mystery. Boney might or might not have a hand in it. Dawood Ibrahim had a strong influence over authorities in Dubai, and the hotel where Sri Devi was found dead was said to be linked to him as well. Bushan was determined to find out the truth. In a bit to confirm his theories, Bushan reportedly stayed overnight in Jumeirah Emirates Towers, Dubai, the same hotel where Sri Devi was staying at the time of her death. Bushan was accompanied by his private investigation agency, who was helping put the pieces together. Armed with his suspicions and circumstantial links, Bushan aimed to file an appeal in the Supreme Court to reopen the investigation into Sri Devi's death, seeking a fresh examination of the circumstances surrounding the tragic event. Rishi Raj Singh, the former Director General of Prisons and Correctional Services in Kerala, brought forth an intriguing perspective on the case as well. According to him, there was more to the mystery behind Sri Devi's death than what was initially perceived. In an extensive column penned for the newspaper Kerala Kamudi, Rishi Raj talked about the complexities of the case, asserting that there was foul play. Staying stern on those beliefs, Rishi Raj contended that the actress was not a victim of accidental drowning, but rather a victim of murder. Recalling a conversation he earlier had with the renowned forensic expert, the late Dr. Uma Dathan, Rishi Raj shed light on certain details that cast doubt on the drowning narrative. According to Rishi Raj, Dr. Uma Dathan pointed out that the possibility of someone drowning in shallow water, regardless of alcohol consumption, was severely low. Dr. Uma Dathan was sure that the Dubai officials were hiding the truth behind Sri Devi's death. According to his theory, Sri Devi had been deliberately held underwater by another individual, submerging her head while also restraining both her legs. He was sure that the accidental drowning claim was just a cover-up. This revelation raised questions about the official account of Sri Devi's demise and how it originally had been handled. While there is no response to these claims from either the Dubai Police Department or the Kapoor family, it certainly put them under scrutiny. With time, the number of people who believed these theories grew immensely, with hundreds demanding a reinvestigation into Sri Devi's case. Sadly, no official response was ever received from the authorities. Another and the most convincing conspiracy that came to light was the one which claimed that Sri Devi had died at least one or two days before the day Boney said he found her in the bathtub. Apparently, Sri Devi had posted a picture through her Instagram account on February 22, 2018. This picture became her last social media post. So it was safe to assume that Sri Devi was well and alive on February 22, 2018, unless someone else posted that picture using her phone or laptop. But there is no proof that Sri Devi was alive on February 23, 2018, or February 24, 2018. Even in Dubai, Sri Devi was a star, and people knew who she was. If she had stepped outside her hotel on either of the two days in question, people would have seen her, recognized her, and would have clicked pictures or taken autographs. She was, after all, a celebrity. Even if she'd gone to a mall or even to her hotel balcony, people would have noticed talked and made video clips on their phones. Yet, no one came forward saying they saw Sri Devi at any point on February 23rd or February 24th, 2018. This meant that if, at all, Sri Devi was alive on those days, she had not left her hotel at all, which seemed quite odd. Additionally, the last time Sri Devi was captured on camera was on the wedding day itself. Boney Kapoor claimed that he was the last person to see Sri Devi alive before she entered the bathroom around 7 p.m. on February 24, 2018. However, many questioned the credibility of his statement and suggested a different narrative. According to them, there is a possibility that Sri Devi might have succumbed to a drug overdose sometime between posting that picture on February 22nd and the time she was found dead in the bathtub on February 24, 2018. Evidently, her lifeless body may have been in the hotel room for quite some time before the hotel staff realized her prolonged absence and lack of food orders. According to the theory, the hotel staff, after entering the room and confirming Sri Devi's demise, alerted Boney and chose to wait until his arrival before planning the next course of action. Upon receiving the distressing call, Boney Kapoor would have rushed to the scene, 
only to discover the tragic reality awaiting him. The controversy around a potential drug overdose would raise questions about Sridevi's character and leave her name tarnished for ages. If this cause of death were officially declared, Sridevi would forever be remembered as a drug user. The fear of public backlash and the urgency to prevent the leakage of such sensitive information might have made Boney come up with a story of accidental drowning as a cover-up. The revelation of Sridevi's purported drowning left her admirers in denial, giving rise to more and more conspiracy theories coming up throughout the years. And even though the circumstances surrounding her untimely demise continue to fuel speculation and discussion among her devoted fan base, Sri Devi's family maintained a poised silence, adding a layer of mystery to an already complex narrative. Amidst the whispers of fans and the echoes of friends and family, the news of her mysterious passing rippled through the corridors of the film industry. Many took to social media outlets where thousands of tributes poured in in the wake of Sri Devi's departure. In remembrance of Sri Devi, Boney too made a post on his social media accounts sharing his grief with the world. He said that Sri Devi was the epitome of acting prowess to the world, but to him, she was more than just an icon. She was his love, his confidant, and the mother of his two daughters. Losing their mother was harsh for both Kushi and Janvi. Sri Devi wasn't just a star for them, but their whole universe. In the Kapoor family, Sri Devi was often referred to as the glue who held the family together. And now, when she wasn't around anymore, the Kapoors found themselves in a dark place, trying to put the tragic incident behind and move on. The film community and Sri Devi's close family members gathered to pay their final respects at Celebration Sports Club in Lock and Walla and later at her somber funeral. The air hung heavy with grief as thousands of devoted fans poured into the streets, driven by an overwhelming desire to honor their beloved icon. In the middle of this morning, the sheer magnitude of emotions overflowed, leading the police to employ stern measures to keep the crowd in control during the procession from Celebration Sports Complex to the crematorium. The crowd, a formidable force numbering over 7,000, stood as a testament to the profound impact Sri Devi had on the hearts of her fans. Sri Devi's funeral was one of a kind and ranked as the fourth largest gathering of mourners in India. In a rare and remarkable gesture, Sri Devi was posthumously given full state honors, a privilege typically reserved for the highest levels of political leadership. This unprecedented recognition elevated her status among everyone who was a part of the Indian entertainment industry. While Boney and his family were still recovering from the loss, the excessive scrutiny he had to face due to multiple conspiracy theories made him break his silence. Being accused by the public of murdering his own wife, Boney decided to speak up and tell his side of the story. While Sri Devi's fans suspected Boney of foul play in her death, the investigation that took place in Dubai right after the murder found him innocent. As Boney was the one who found Sri Devi unconscious in the bathtub, he was taken to the Bur Dubai police station for an initial round of questioning. Exclusive details uh, from Dubai reports suggesting that uh, Sri Devi's husband, Boney Kapoor, was questioned by the Dubai police for around 16 to 18 hours and after that uh, questioning by the Dubai police, uh, Boni, Boni Kapoor has been cleared. The mortal remains of Sri Devi are expected to reach Mumbai today. After he gave a statement, he was let go and permitted to return to his hotel room. Sri Devi was visiting Dubai to attend a family wedding with her husband, Boni Kapoor, and her younger daughter. But it was not long after the tragedy followed the celebration. The 54-year-old actor was found dead in her hotel room on Saturday, February 24th, around midnight. Given the high-profile nature of the case, the news of Sri Devi's passing quickly made its way to the public. At Nan Siddiqui, Sri Devi's Pakistani co-actor from her final film, Mom, was one of the first few people to arrive at the Jumeirah Emirates Tower upon learning about the actress's demise on Saturday night. Adnan revealed that on the night of Sri Devi's death, he received an unexpected call from a journalist around 11 p.m. That was how he got the shocking news of Sri Devi's demise. Without hesitation, he tried calling Boni Kapoor over the phone, feeling an urgent need to be by his side. Rushing to the hotel, he entered a scene of investigation with the room surrounded by Dubai police officials. At the time, only Boni and Dubai officials were present at the scene, 
and Adnan was not initially allowed to go in. However, he wasn't going to leave without seeing Boney. He walked into the hotel lobby and waited for about an hour. As the atmosphere began to settle, Boney phoned Adnan and called him upstairs. In those private moments, Adnan witnessed Boney's raw emotions. Boney was crying uncontrollably with tears smeared across his face. Adnan tried to console him, but nothing worked. The suddenness of the tragic incident had Boney in distress. He couldn't even get a chance to say goodbye to his beloved wife. Kim, if you don't have support at home, by at home I mean your wife, that, with that support you can fight anything. I was blessed. Boney had to let it all out. Staying by Boney's side until the early hours of the morning, Adnan offered solace and support. As the night wore on, he gently encouraged Boney to rest, eventually bidding farewell before the sun came up that same morning. As the news of Sri Devi's death spread like wildfire, her brother-in-law, Sanjay Kapoor, stepped forward to confirm the heartbreaking reality. Initially, he announced to the Indian media that the cause of her demise was a sudden cardiac arrest. However, the abruptness of her passing left fans and fellow Bollywood celebrities grappled by grief. On social media, an outpour of posts expressing sorrow and shock ensued, with many questioning the credibility of the news. They wondered whether the tragic news was true or whether it was just another instance of a death hoax. The unexpected nature of her death especially for a seemingly healthy 54-year-old with no prior history of heart issues, fueled speculation and disbelief. Amidst the confusion, Sanjay Kapoor clarified that Sri Devi's passing was indeed a result of a massive cardiac arrest, further affirming that she had no history of heart issues. Despite this clarification, various theories began to circulate on social media, with some linking her untimely death to alleged multiple cosmetic surgeries that she had undergone in the past years. The mysteries surrounding her death gave rise to a wave of discussions and speculations in the public eye. By the morning of Sunday, on February 25, 2018, Dubai police officials had already gathered at the crime scene. The investigation began around 2.30 in the afternoon. The case was transferred to the hands of Dubai public prosecution, adding an air of official scrutiny to the unfolding tragedy. On February 27, 2018, after days of intense police investigation, Sri Devi's cause of death was determined as accidental drowning, and the case was closed. On the night of that same day, Sri Devi's lifeless body made a poignant journey back to her homeland, Mumbai, India. Her husband, Boney, accompanied by Sri Devi's stepson, Arjun Kapoor, arranged for a private jet for the journey, graciously provided by Anil Ambani, who was one of India's leading business leaders. The wings of the aircraft carried not just her body, but the weight of a nation's grief and love. The airport gates welcomed her arrival around 9.30 p.m., while many stood behind the barricades, coming to terms with the reality of this tragedy. In an interview with New Indian, which took place sometime in February 2023, Boney Kapoor opened up about Sri Devi's death for the first time since her death in 2018. He revealed that Sri Devi had been on a crash diet and added that she often used to starve herself in order to look good. Sri Devi wanted to make sure that she was in shape to play roles of her choice on screen. Boney also shared some sensitive information, stating that Sri Devi had blacked out on multiple occasions previously. Indian producer Boney Kapoor has finally opened up about the tragic death of his wife and late actor Sri Devi. Kapoor revealed that the actor was on a diet at the time of her death. He added that she used to starve to make herself look good on screen. According to Kapoor, she often experienced blackouts because of the no salt diets that she would partake in. Kapoor mentioned that Sri Devi was swearing by one of these routines at the time of her death, even though she had been advised against it by her doctors. The actor believed that salt intake would make her face puffy. The filmmaker also recalled an interaction with Indian actor Naga Jana, in which he was told that Sri Devi had broken her teeth following a fall in the bathroom. Boney first got to know about these episodes of blackout after he married Sri Devi. When a medical checkup was done on Sri Devi, the report diagnosed her with issues related to low blood pressure. Later in the interview, Boney recalled how he was questioned for 48 hours straight once the investigation began. 
he revealed that Sri Devi's death was not a natural one, but an accidental one. He chose not to speak about his wife's death because it was too painful for him, and he already told the authorities everything he knew at the time of the investigation. Boney stated that the investigators working on the case had a lot of pressure from the Indian media, and they couldn't afford to miss out on anything. In the end, they were sure that Sri Devi's death involved no foul play. He added that he had to take a number of tests which included a polygraph test as well. He passed them all, and eventually, the case report confidently stated that Sri Devi's death was accidental. While some trusted Boney and his version of the story, many thought that it was just another hoax. Even if years would go by, it was evident that Sri Devi's unexpected passing would still be talked about and remembered for a long time. On the auspicious occasion of Sri Devi's birthday on August 13, 2019, Madame Tussaud Singapore unveiled a plan to immortalize the legendary actress with a dedicated wax statue, promising a perfectly crafted figure that would replicate Sri Devi's iconic appearance in the timeless Hawa Hawaii song from the film Mr. India. The ceremony, a fusion of art and emotion, witnessed the presence of Sri Devi's husband, Boni Kapoor, alongside her daughters, Janvi Kapoor and Kushi Kapoor. Simultaneously, the literary world paid homage to Sri Devi in 2019 as author Satyarth Nayak penned a biography titled Sri Devi, The Eternal Screen Goddess. This literary tribute took a deep dive into the layers of Sri Devi's life. The book was very well received by the audiences as it left a lasting impression of Sri Devi's unbeatable legacy on her millions of fans. In the landscape of the Indian film industry, Sri Devi stood as a beacon of love and admiration. Her career spanned over 50 years in a wide range of genres which left many young artists inspired to walk in her footsteps. Despite her untimely departure, Sri Devi's essence lived on in the form of her daughter, Janvi Kapoor, a living reflection of her mother's grace and charm. Following the same path Sri Devi had once walked on, Janvi embraced acting as her chosen craft, embodying the spirit of the cinematic icon. Kushi Kapoor, Sri Devi's youngest daughter, is geared up to join the world of Indian cinema and continue the family's cinematic legacy. In the early days of 2023, on Sri Devi's death anniversary, Janvi penned a heartfelt note expressing the unique bond she shared with her mother. It read, I still look for you everywhere, Mama. Still do everything I do, hoping I'm making you proud. Everywhere I go and everything I do, it starts and ends with you. I think for me, there were many things. So I feel like when, she, when we had her, my life was completely different. And when we lost her, I was bang in the middle of the shoot of my first film. And then the film came out and then my life changed. So it was almost as if the life I was leading before was this idealistic, fictional life that I, now I feel like I never really had it because what I'm living right now is so different. And so the way I think I coped with that loss was that I just dove into work. When you close your eyes and you think of your mom, what do you remember? I just remember her calling me Laddu, because she used <laughs> to call me Laddu. That's so sweet. And it's so weird, ma'am, because every time I'm on set and I'm in front of the camera in my most vulnerable moments, I feel like in front of the camera is the closest that I'll ever be to her. And that's why it's such a sacred space for me. Whether Sri Devi's death was an accident or a murder, whether her husband was involved or not, one thing was certain. The complete truth was still being kept hidden. What do you think really happened to Sri Devi in her Dubai hotel room? Was Sri Devi's death really an accident, or was there some foul play? If there was, do you think Boney and the family had a hand in it? Let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. If there's a case you'd like us to cover, don't hesitate to drop your recommendations in the comment section below. For more captivating true crime stories, like, share, and subscribe to our channel.